Some games unfortunately are just too hard or have too much grind or too boring, but you still want to see the story develop, so Cheat Engine can help. It can help get resources when you have to grind them, when the game was designed badly because they needed to increase the playtime so people could not return it on Steam or something like that, or maybe you just have a busy life and cannot enjoy the game as it was intended but want to enjoy it either way, or it has annoying sequences you want to skip, Cheat Engine can help with that as well. Of course this is not for online or multiplayer games, only use this for single player games. Stay lovable. Okay, so let's see, how do we get Cheat Engine 7.2? Well, we can just press download Cheat Engine on the Cheat Engine website. And it downloads an exe file. This one is bundled with bloatware that is easy to install by accident. As we can see here, Adware Web Companion. We can just decline. And it will install without it. This might vary with your jurisdictions. It might be that in some countries bloatware is permitted to install itself without permission. But uh, if we don't even want to risk that, we can try to find a portable version. Now on the Patreon there are now binaries. Of course this means you will have to pay. The money allows the developer to continue developing Cheat Engine, so if you do want to support Cheat Engine and its development, you might as well just go for the Patreon. But let's see, maybe we can find an official version without having to pay. Well, draw your attention to the left. FAQ. I'm not touching any of that advertiser crap. Can I get a version of Cheat Engine without? Yes, the download page also has a link to a download without an installer. You just have to make sure it's configured properly yourself. There actually is such a link. I'll show you in a second. But if you cannot find it, maybe it has been removed by now, you can also use InnoExtract. And gonna... Extract it, of course. And then I'm just gonna copy the exe file, paste it next to the cheat engine exe file, and drag the cheat engine installer on the inno extract exe. Uh, yes, run anyway. It's gonna extract real quick. And if you don't see exe endings, it doesn't matter, or you can go to view. Uh, file name extensions and then it will show .exe. Alright, so InnoExtract creates TMP and app. TMP is irrelevant. If I'm not mistaken, this might be the uh, bloatware, so I'm just going to delete that. And then in app, we have Cheat Engine. And you can just run Cheat Engine. As per usual, it will require admin rights. Alright, uh, don't really need that. And here it is. Oh wait, if you go to the downloads page, well I know, nobody reads text, so... What you do is you hover over every link, or press tab. You know, tab, left of Q on the keyboard. So press tab and then look at the bottom left here, see? It says uh, cheat engine 72.exe, that's the same file we downloaded before. No. Tab again, this is some Patreon post. No. Tab again, this is some forum post. No. Well, who knows, maybe they will put it there next time for Cheat Engine 7.3. Anyways, tab. Patreon again. Tab. Aha! Cheat Engine 7.2 missing setup.rar. So here is the link. And uh, if you actually read the text, ha! <laughs> Then you would have read, For those that want to have Cheat Engine set up without any extra software recommendation during install, then join Patreon, and you'll get a clean install file. And if you wish to have a raw file without any configuration of uh, file access permission by the setup, click here. Do keep in mind that you need to add the Windows app user account to the DLLs, else DLL injection will fail in UWP apps, which who cares about UWP. But here's the link. Isn't that nice? Okay, these mirrors have super old versions, by the way. Never mind them. But you can use old versions. Yeah, old versions are fine. So here, uh, this one, this one, the missing setup. That's what we want. Yoink. So here's the missing setup.rar file, which will require you to have winrar, or I highly recommend 7-zip. Uh, with 7-zip, I can also just extract it. And we have pretty much the same situation here. Cheat engine.exe. Yes. Bam. So it's still possible, but if you don't slow down a little bit, then no. Links for this tutorial are all in the description of this video. Hit the like button if this helped. 
Let me know in the comments if you still have problems and check out my other tutorials. Until next time, ciao!